Mabuhay! We're going to introduce 20 historical heritage here in the Philippines. Tara, let's go! Manila Hotel Commonwealth President Manuel Quezon invite General Douglas MacArthur to build the Philippine Army in 1935. General MacArthur responded to requests of his long-term defendant and sailed back to the Philippines. During his tour as a military advisor to the Commonwealth Government of the Philippines, General MacArthur, his wife, Jean and son Arthur made Manila Hotel their home. University of Santo Tomas The University of Santo Tomas or UST is the oldest existing university in Asia. In terms of student population, it is the largest Catholic university in the world on a single campus. The institution was established through the initiative of Bishop Miguel de Benavuet, OP 3rd Archbishop of Manila. Edsa Shrine Although commemorating a more recent event, the Edsa Shrine in Quezon City has already become one of the top historical sites in the Philippines. Its original name is the Shrine of Mary, Queen of Peace, Our Lady of Edsa, but it's more commonly known for its short name as it was built to remember the 1986 People Power Revolution that took place in the street of Epifarno de Los Santos Avenue in Edsa. The revolution saw the outstanding of then President Ferdinand Marcos who took the country under martial law. The most distinguishing feature of his landmark in Manila is the Tower of Sculpture of the Virgin Mary atop a shrine church. Malacanang Palace Originally built in 1750, two house Spanish aristocrats, the Malacanang Palace has become the official residence and principal workplace of the President of the Philippines since 1935. Open to the public is the Malacanang Museum, where you can visit the Presidential Museum and Library housing significant memorabilia and featuring awe-inspiring architecture. A tour inside the palace complex also take you to the San Miguel Parish Church, the only shrine in the entire world dedicated to the seven archangels. Tight security is to be expected in the entire area. Barasawayan Church Regarded as the cradle of democracy in the East, the Barasawayan Church in Malolos, Bulacan was the site of the First Philippine Republic when General Emilio Aguinaldo was inaugurated as the first president in the Philippines. With its architecture reflecting baroque and neoclassical styles and features are like rose windows, wood carving, and painted domes. The Barasuyan Church is not only in the significant history landmark but also one of the Philippines' point of interest and structural beauty. Hotel de Oriente Known as the first luxury hotel in the country, the Hotel de Oriente, designed by Juan Jose Huarbas by Arisbedi, occupied a prime location in Binondo, Manila, in 1889. It faces the Binondo Church and stands next to La Isular Cigarette and Cigar Factory, also designed by the hotel architect. A well known hotel guest is Dr. Jose Rizal, who remained in room number 22 in 1892, it served various institutional duties during the American occupation until it ended with the Japanese invasion of Manila. The hotel was revived as a replica of the Las Casas Pilipinas Desacusar in Bataan and served as a 
conference venue for APEC delegates in June 2015. The Intercontinental Holding the Distinguishes Number 1 Ayala Avenue address in the Intercontinental Manila, one of the oldest five-star hotel in the country and only the second Asian branch of the Intercontinental chain when it's opened in 1969. In yet another example of how local luxury hotel seems to attract rebellion attempts. Army troopers made use of the hotel's strategic location to fend off rebels in an attempted coup d'etat in 1989. Sadly, like the Mandarin Oriental, the owner have decided to close aging hotels designed by national artist for architecture Leandro Loxin. The Peninsula Manila, the first branch of this distinguished hotel chain outside of Hong Kong, the Manila Peninsula needed no introduction when it opened in 1967. The Brutalities building designed by Gabriel Promoso has two wings with an iconic fountain up front. The lobby was picturesque with a large selling sculpture by national artist Napoleon Abuena. In 2007, Senator Antonio Trillanes IV and his supporter stormed the hotel and demanded the resignation of then President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. An armored personnel carrier broke through the lobby doors and window during the siege, which result in pricey damage to the hotel and a damage to we files by its manager. Luneta Hotel The Luneta Hotel, beautiful French Renaissance architecture and romantic location vibre a tumultuous past. After the hotel survived heavy bombardment in World War II, it served as a brothel and makeshift ward of the American GIS after the war. The hotel designed by Salvador Farr was, was unable to resign its reputation. Falling into despair and closing down in 1987, it was restored and reopened in 2014. Admiral Hotel the Admiral Hotel, designed by Fernando Campo, was the place to be for the Manila elite back at his day. It's open as the Admiral Apartment in 1939 with former President Manuel L. Quezon as guest of horror. For a time, it was the tallest building in Manila, even used a landmark by sailor entering Manila Bay like the neighboring Luneta Hotel. It had multiple functions serving as the headquarter for the Japanese and American at different points during the war. The building was sold by its owners, the Lopez Aranetas, to a condominium developer in 2009. It was promptly demolished in 2014 because of the structural integrate issue. It was rebuilt as a bounty hotel managed by the Aqua chain, complete in 2017. Rizal Park Rizal Park is a 60-hectare oasis of a greenery and blossom set in Manila's busy financial and commercial district. Dedicated to Philippine national hero Dr. Jose Rizal, this urban park has a garden, historical monuments, a 3D map of the Philippines, picnic grounds, a grand stadium, and an open-air concert hall. It's also close to other historical places such as Intramuros and the National Museum. More than a public park, it played a significant role in the history of the Philippines, as it was the site of Rizal execution, along with 100 other Filipino martyrs. Before it was known as the site of Rizal death, it began as barely habitable marshland, then became a hub of the Spanish leisure class. Originally named as Bagumbayan or the New Village, the park's proximity to some government offices, its accessibility from the new country homes being built in the outskirts of Manila, and the fresh air it brings from the sea 
as a serious feed from the tropical heat. That's why it was an ideal spot for the Spanish and Manila elite seeking comforts. The Luneta Park Tagalog draws in the name from the word let, meaning crescent shape, structure for defense used in fortifications in the 7th to 18th century. The Luneta Park Tagalog draws its name for the word let, meaning crescent shaped structure for the defense used in fortifications in the 7th to 18th century. Luneta Park then became the capital scaling field, the place of martyrdom of three secular priests falsely accused of leading and uprising Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zabora, and of course, Jose Rizal execution site. Corregidor Island In February 16 to March 2, 1945, the successful recapture by U.S. troops during World War II of Corregidor Island at the entrance of Manila Bay, called the Gibraltar of the East. In the Philippines, which had been surrendered to the Japanese on May 6, 1942, marking the fall of the Philippines, Corregidor is a small rocky island located at the entrance of Manila Bay. It was the ones that headquarters of allied Filipino and American forces who fought against the Japanese during World War II and a witness to the braveries of the soldiers, while Japanese had occupied lots of places in the Philippines. They avoided Corregidor because of the fear of the huge canyons surrounding the place. Cala Crisologo The list of famous historical landmarks in the Philippines isn't complete without Figan in it. And among the things that Figan is well known for the Cala Crisologo, where you can see cobblestone streets, intricate architecture, and horse carriages commonly known as Calesa. It's one of the few Hispanic towns surviving in the Philippines and one of the best preserved Spanish colonial towns in the world. Unknown to many, before the name Calle Crisologo Street, it was called Calle Escolta de Vigan. Upon the discovery of the town by Juan de Salcedo in 1572, the street served as the commercial hub in the entire northern Luzon and was established and even before the Galleon trade. Cali Cristologo was also called Kasanglayan, place of the Chinese, which was the business center of the foreign migratory traders including Chinese, Spanish, Mexican, Japanese, and other European businessmen. In the late 1890s, the Calle de Escolta de Vigan was renamed to Washington Street during the American rule. On September 1, 1901, the Americans had established a civil government in Alonsur, with Dona Mena Cosologo, a delegate to the Malolos Congress, as the first provincial governor. The rice terraces of the Philippine Caldelleras In the UNESCO World Heritage list in 1995, they inscribed the first ever priority to be included in the cultural landscape category of the World Heritage List. This inscription has five sites, the Batal Rice Terraces, Bangan Rice Terraces, Bayoyao Rice Terraces, Munduan Rice Terraces, and the Nagakadan Rice Terraces, all in Ifugao Province. The Ifugao Complex of Stone or Mud Walls and the careful carving of the natural contour of hills and mountains to make terraces, pond, field, coped with the development of intricate irrigation system, harvesting water from the forest of the mountain tops, and an elaborate farming system. The Ifugao rice terraces illustrate the remarkable ability of human culture to adapt to new social and climate pressures, as well as the implement and develop new ideas and technologies. Zapote Bridge Zapote Bridge is a stone arc pedestrian bridge crossing the Zapote River 
in the Philippines. It connects the cities of Las Piñas in Metro Manila and Bacoor in the province of Cavite. The bridge and its surrounding area was the site of two battles. The Battle of Zapote Bridge, 1897 between Filipino revolutionaries and the Spanish colonial government in 1897 during the Philippine Revolution and the Battle of Zapote River between Filipino and American force in 1899 during the Philippine-American War. This historical event, the bridge was designed as a National Historic Landmark by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines in September 9, 2013. The modern concrete bridge, also named Zapote Bridge, carrying motorized vehicle and part of Aguinaldo Highway was constructed parallel to the original bridge. Leyte Landing Memorial Park The Leyte Landing Memorial Park is a memorial at Palo Leyte in the Philippines that commemorates the historic landing of General Douglas MacArthur in the Leyte Gulf at the start of campaign to recapture and liberate the Philippines from Japanese occupation on October 20, 1944. This event led to the largest naval battle of World War II and Japanese eventual defeat and surrender after almost three years. The U.S. campaign plan for Leyte was to secure vital territories in order to establish airfields, supply dams, and military facilities that will turn the island into a staging area for operations against the Japanese. The Battle of Leyte Gulf happened three days after MacArthur's landing and was decisive air and sea battle. For the Allied forces, as it weakened the Japanese combined fleet and halted the Japanese ability to move resources from Southeast Asia to their homeland island. The Allied forces took the opportunity to take over the Philippines, thus reinforcing the Allied forces' control over the Pacific and marking the loss of Japan's strategic grip of Southeast Asia. Blood Compact Shrine The Santugo or Blood Compact Shrine Monument in Tagbelaran is a landmark at the site of the first international treaty of friendship between Spaniards and Filipinos. This Bohol tourist spot depicts Takatuna and Legaspi at the famed Sandugot moment. On November 21, 1564, Legaspi sailed from Navidad, Mexico with the purpose of searching for gold, silver, and spices, and to Christianize the natives of the island that they will come in contact with. Tagbilaran, especially of the district of Bohol, witnessed the forging of the first international treaty of peace and friendship between two nations of different race and creed. On that fateful day of March 16, 1565, Captain General Miguel Lopez de Legazpi of the Spanish expedition of Tato Sakatuna, a native chieftain of Bohol, sealed their friendship in a native ritual, the Blood Compact. As is the native custom of the time, the two sealed their friendship through the shedding of blood wherein both draw two of three drops of blood from their arms, mixed the blood with the wine, and then equally drank from the cup. Other historians say that blood wine mixture was divided equally between the two and they both drank the contents of the last drop. Iskaya Iskaya, less commonly known as the Visayan Iskaya, is the collective name from the member of cultural minority found in Bohol, Philippines. Distinguished by its cultural heritage, particularly in literature, language, dress, religion, observance, the Iskaya script thought has both alphabetic and syllabic components, a basic alphabet of 46 characters. The location of this site is on the top of Duero Bol, particularly near the border of Xerabolliones. Lobok Church 
The San Pedro Apostol Parish Church, commonly known as Lobok Church, is a Roman Catholic church in the municipality of Lobok Bohol, Philippines. Within the jurisdiction of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Tagbilaran, after the Jusits established the Christian community in Baclayon, they moved the Lobok and established a second Christian settlement in Bohol. The parish was established in 1602 and the present Coral Stone Church was complete in 1734. Because of its strategic location, it became the center of the Jusit mission in Bohol area. In 1768, upon the expulsion of the Jusit, the town was transferred to Augustinian Recollected. The island of Bohol experienced a strong earthquake on October 15, 2013 which the center of the magnitude 7.2 earthquake was near in Sagbayan Bol, centuries old church in Bol, including the Lobok and several other churches designed as national cultural treasure were heavily damaged. Jose Rizal Memorial Protected Landscape, also known as the Rizal Park and Shrine, is a protected landscape and memorial to the Philippines National Hero located in the city of Dapitan on the island of Mindanao. It is preserved the farm site of Barrio Talisay, where Jose Rizal was exiled for four years from 1892 to 1896 after being accused of sedition and plotting in the Philippine Revolution in Manila by the Spaniards' colonialization authorities. The protected area was established in 1940 as the Rizal National Park covering an essential area of 10 hectares through Proclamation No. 616 signed by President Manuel Luis Quezon. In 2000, it was enlarged to its present size of 439 hectares with a buffer zone of 15 hectares and was declared a protected landscape under the National Integrated Protected Area System through Proclamation No. 279. Oh, hi again! If you learned something about historical heritage here in the Philippines, let me know in the comments and hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you! Mabuhay, Pilipinas! Woo! Woo! Woo!